I'm the 689th Lord Mayor of London, but today we're here to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Americans joining the Allies in the First World War. And we're here particularly to open a great exhibition by Mike Scheel. Interestingly, a replica of the same exhibition is opening today in America, and that will be touring the American cities in the same way that the exhibition behind me will be touring the United Kingdom. And today is exactly 100 years to the day since the Americans joined in that first great conflict. Very sadly, 110,000 young Americans lost their lives. We in the United Kingdom recognize that sacrifice. We pay tribute to our great allies, and we welcome everybody to come and join with us and celebrate the end of that war the start of peace and this great exhibition here in the city of London. As an American living here abroad in the United Kingdom, here in London, to see this display dedicated to us uh, as American servicemen and those, or in particular those American servicemen who served there, is really something. It means a lot to me as a serviceman. Well, we're very honored to be here, obviously. Uh, both of us from the U.S. Embassy. My grandfather actually fought in World War One. He fought in the last three campaigns uh, and fortunately survived. Uh, I was there about a month ago, and we really do consider it to be hallowed ground. Uh, and uh, to be able to walk that ground and see these beautiful pictures, uh, still wearing this active duty uniform, uh, is just an amazing experience. So we're very happy to be here and, and uh, proud to be here as well. I'm Brigadier General Doug Chrisman. I'm a U.S. Army officer assigned to the British Army, currently serving as the Deputy Commanding General of the British 3rd Division in Salisbury. And so I had the opportunity today to be a part of this great ceremony. I learned a great deal walking through the exhibit today, being a part of uh, this commemorative event. It's absolutely uh, a meaningful and, uh, and, and useful tribute uh, to, to help educate all of us about the sacrifice that they all made. Well, sir, I... I think it makes us feel a sense of pride in a way that this is uh, history. Uh, through your training, when you first come in the military, you, the first thing you're taught is, you know, tradition. And this is basically the tradition from years back, from, you know, uh, Marines before us that uh, set the ways for our military today. Uh, they set the standards for us to, to follow and to make something of ourselves you know so I think uh, just looking at these pictures I mean it makes me it makes me really think about my, what my brothers experienced in those days and I can think of no more fitting memorial it shows what a century ago was nothing less than the very mouth of hell but which today are places of stillness of peace. Fields and battle lands of peace was co-curated by the U.S. National World War I Museum and Mike Shield. Mike spent nearly 10 years creating the haunting and beautiful imagery that you see here tonight. Imagery that marks the sacrifices made by the men and women of America in that conflict, which shaped our world in the 20th century. Thank you.